Well, Masuma Ebtika is a former vice president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. She joins us from the capital, Tehran. Thank you very much for joining us on the News Hour. So if I can start by asking what your thoughts are on reaching uh, a ceasefire agreement, given the latest talks have failed. Thank you. Uh, first of all, the uh, genocidal assault on Gaza is a terrible rebellion against all norms, against all regulations, against international norms, the Geneva Conventions, the Human Rights Charter, and it's unprecedented in human history. And uh, the fact that uh, in spite of all the attempts that have been made uh, during these past four months, uh, we haven't been able to manage this at the international level. The United Nations Security Council has not been able to come to a permanent ceasefire. And this is really uh, something which is troubling in today's world. Uh, before anything, uh, the humanitarian situation, the loss of lives, the uh, injured, the people who are now in famine. We can say that we have a famine now in Palestine. This is terrible. This is unacceptable. Uh, I think that uh, we, we need before anything a ceasefire. And the only solution seems to be that uh, the, the powers which are supporting, which have given a green light to uh, the Zionist regime, they should stop supporting and uh, they should put pressure on the uh, Israeli government because it seems that the Israeli government, they have an agenda to move forward, to keep themselves in power. And this is terrible. Lives are being lost. And uh, uh, I think that this is a, a shame for the human conscience that we cannot come to a solution to stop this genocide. And that the, uh, the Zionist forces, they keep on, uh, they, they act as if that there is no, and, and that's true, they're not, they're not going to be held accountable for what they've been doing. And I think that this is a shame for all humanity and that we, we need to take action. We need to do something very serious uh, at the international level. All governments need to take action, but also people. Uh, we see that they're boycotting uh, Israeli uh, products. This is an important uh, action, economic action, also uh, the protests throughout the world. And uh, I think that uh, everyone can do whatever uh, it is possible for them at their means to uh, mm -hmm. uh, speak up against this, these atrocities and to take whatever action it's necessary. What about the position in UNRWA of all of this? Nearly a dozen Western countries have uh, pulled their funding until investigations are concluded. What, in your view, lies behind this withdrawal? Uh, it, seems that, uh, it seems that since UNRWA had, had a very important role in supporting the Palestinian people all these uh, days and providing humanitarian aid and uh, also, the role that they played probably in the tribunal and providing evidence. Uh, of course, the evidence is everywhere. You see evidence, the footage that I've just been watching on your uh, channel these few minutes. Uh, it's, it's evidence. It's very clear. Uh, but I think UNRWA has provided uh, evidence, uh, clear evidence. And uh, the fact that so many UN workers have been killed uh, so many UN centers have been shelved. Uh, this is so clear. It's, it's so strange. It's as if people, everyone is looking, but they're not seeing. They can't see. Uh, and this is very strange. This is very strange because uh, how can our conscience allow this to happen in the 21st century? Uh, humanity has to have advanced, but it seems that we're moving backward. We're losing everything. And just while we've got time, what do you make of the recent US and UK military action that's been spiraling uh, around the region now and comes out of this situation in Gaza? Well, it seems that they have the military potential uh, to stop and uh, to make a deterrent uh, action against any force that they like, but it seems that they don't like to 
prevent uh, the Israelis from bombing innocent civilians. But on the other hand, uh, resistant forces which are trying to uh, control the, uh, the, the weapons, the, the arms, the ammunitions going to Israel, uh, th those, those are targeted and attacked. And this, this is, again, the double standards that we're facing in today's world. And it's really shameful. It's really troubling. And uh, I hope that those who can voice their concerns, they speak up and they protest and they stand up against all of this because we will all be held accountable one day, sooner or later in this world or in the hereafter for just remaining indifferent and silent towards all these atrocities being committed in, right. in our view. And we're seeing this. This is something that's being, it's happening in real time online. We're witnessing it, but we can't do anything to prevent it. Masuma Ebtekar, former Vice President of the Islamic Republic of Iran, thank you very much for joining us.